Okay, my friend. We got a message on the Google deal to go over some of these shots. And the question was about the backhand in the Brandon pin. And first, the, the, the diameter of your rope, the man that got a hold of us is using a 7 16 40 footer. I'm guessing it's a soft lay. And that's fine. If you live in windy country like we do, that's fine. I just prefer these because they're closer to a Rieta for me. And after you get the mileage, you're going to find out that a lighter rope is a lot easier on your shoulders that are worn out 43 years from now. Okay. We talked about locking his wrist to make the backhand swing work. This is a glass of water. This is not America's Got Talent. It's a backhand swing. Learn to move your arm without spilling the water. That's how you learn the backhand swing. Second thing is, you take the tail of your rope, you leave your palm up and you swing your rope. Third thing is, you put a loop in it and you swing your rope. That's the backhand swing. Now, we'll start with the hula hand. Bob Blackwell explained to you on the deal that most of us swing with a backhand swing and a hula hand delivery when we're throwing the hula hand. Backhand swing. Hula hand delivery. Backhand. Hula hand. Turn your hand over. mentioned about being able to throw that backhand heel trap so now we're staying with the backhand swing in the Brandon pin I use it a lot the way I use it is I split my loop you hang on to the spoke and let go of the loop I'm going to do basic first backhand 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 so as the loop approaches, you hold the spoke and let go of the loop. Now in the real Brandon pin scenario, that's my best shot. Forward or backward, doesn't matter. That's one reason I throw it, because when calves get wadded up in the corner, I've got them either way. So it's a good loop. Last time. Backhand swing. Backhand delivery. As you approach, you hook the Honda or the loop on the hip and set your trap. Slide to the eye of the calf. Either side. And you'll set up your two feet catch. Now, distance. If you split your loop, it's really hard to throw distance. That only works in a rollover with a really long spoke. We're sticking with this shot. So now, you're in the Brandon pin, you want to go over the hip. The percentages of this are pretty low, but if you're hand enough, you'll get it done. Coil for distance. Back hand swing. Hula hand delivery. That's your distance shot. Now, there's two things you got to do. If you throw a Riata, it's going to set the trap for you. If you throw a 7 16 rope, you're going to have to pull the rope once it hits the hip. Backhand swing, hula hand delivery. I pulled with my right hand. I can't split the loop because I'm too far away. So, if you notice I added a coil, that's your answer to distance. Now, there's backwards roping. Backwards roping is an option. The 
talked about the back hand, we talked about the hula hand. Now we're going to throw backwards. Backwards is not trick roping. It's not a crowd pleaser. It's not a joke. It's a viable shot and it comes up twice a year. And because you're not paying attention, you end up facing this way and your critter comes in behind you along the fence. Backhand swing, backwards delivery, thumb up. A backhand delivery looks like this. A backwards delivery looks like this. So I have found that on moving cattle, the headshot works pretty good. This is not split in the loop. Coils, one, two, three, none. Backhand swing. Backwards delivery. Standing cattle, if you want to throw backwards, you got to put some English on it when you deliver. That way you can lay it over the hip. Now the word English, this is the mystery part of this whole deal. Flick of the wrist, uh, rollover, mano volteado. Call it whatever you want, but you got to figure out that you're aiming for the back, not for the hocks. Backhand, backhand. Boom. Big, nice, wide open, thumb up, shake hands with the pin bone. And I got to tell you. There was a 17-year-old girl that commented on the deal about this roping. And my dear, I commend you, and I will show you loops from now until doomsday because there's no young people that have cared about this other than ranch-raised kids that are around it all the time. But there's not very many of those. So... What you've just seen is three different shots. The hula hand head shot, the hula hand heel, which is one, backwards and back hand. Just for the sake of knowing, what's happened is, for those of you that enter the competitions, is that in ranch roping, the bar was lowered so that more people would get in because they needed entries and it was, more, it was fun for people just beginning to rope. Well, that was 10 years ago. The problem is the bar never got raised. It only got raised by a clock, which is a mistake. The quality of loops went downhill because of the clock. And I'm not an evangelist, but I'm just telling you that a lot of the stuff that I'm showing you is going to be lost because it's not being used. So people that are interested in the California style, which is what I call it, because of all the different loops, if you like to read new concept, history, you'll find out that in the old days, the big cattle, which were five-year-old cattle, they didn't tail them down. They laid them down horseback. Now, of course, they had a committee. There'd be two or three guys. But that's a higher level of roping. Tailing them down is done all the time. I do it in the pasture. But when I can and have a committee with me, I lay them down horseback by setting traps and roping the correct legs. So for those of you that are just getting into this, put that in the back of your mind to know that there's another level besides tailing cattle down. Thank you.